this is not the way anyone wants to start their day. What happened here? I have no idea what happened there. One of those trucks had a slight, uh, had one of its headlights smashed out. There are two trucks there, and the other truck had no damage. I wonder what happened. I wonder if someone hit a cyclist, maybe, but I didn't see a bicycle anywhere. But the ambulance and fire trucks? I don't know. Bad way to start the day, but, you know, I hope everybody's okay. We're going to continue on here with our day. Help was already there. Nothing we could do there except take up space and get in the way. We're going to continue on our way up to Arburg here and uh, enjoy this Friday. It's Friday, which means tomorrow is the weekend. There's a nice dog for you. So I'm going to bull snot this one up too and grease it up real good so that it slides back and forth real nice. Yesterday we tried the bull snot on the roll tight and it worked way better than that other stuff we were using. So I'm definitely uh, going to bring it up with the people who make those decisions. Maybe they can start, uh, come January when it's available in Canada, maybe they can start using that instead. We'll see. See how convincing I can be. Just gonna pull around here, park in my regular spot, open her up and wait for my friends to come out and load me up. I like the shippers here, they're very nice people. All right, let's see how easily this one opens up. Maybe it'll be better than the other one. The other one was all seizing up already and I had to get it all greased up. Maybe this one's 
doing all right. Usually they come back and I gotta grease them every time, but I'll give it a shot. We have to unload this first, so we gotta roll this forward so they can unload this before we start loading. Then they'll probably start loading from the front. Let's see how well this rolls. Not too bad, but this is one of our newer trailers. This was the one that was fully refurbished just recently. So I guess it's not surprising that it's not all seized up yet, but it was a little bit sticky. So I'll grease it up anyways, just so it rolls even easier. Let me show you what we got. Let me show you what we got. I've already disconnected the airlines and unlatched the trailer or unlocked the fifth wheel. So I'm ready to pull out from underneath it. The landing gear are down and I'll show you what we got in there. So this load took up pretty much the, yeah, the entire trailer right to the back, 53 feet. And it is headed down to the US. It's going to uh, Halifax, Pennsylvania. Not to be confused with Halifax, Nova Scotia on the east coast of Canada. Halifax, Pennsylvania. And I got my orders for Monday already. We're going down to Thief River Falls and to Minnesota again. Twice. So we're doing two round trips again, just like we did last week. So it should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I love going down there. It's a good, it's a good day's work. It's just mostly just highway the whole time. And just like yesterday, all of these rollers on this, I put some bull snot lubricant on all of them now and it's rolling like butter. And this is the newest one we have. This one, like I was telling you before, just got refurbished, the whole thing. I think it's because this trailer was involved in some kind of uh, rollover or something. Anyway, they had to replace it all. So now it's all brand new. So it already rolls pretty well. It's when they start getting older and Maybe they're a little bit bent up, or maybe they, you know, equipment gets old, this is what happens. And uh, they don't want to roll as nicely, so that's where I come in. I deal with these a lot. I'm not the only one that pulls these things at all. Uh, but out of us local guys, I, I think that I pull them the most, but uh, I've declared myself the roll tight guy. But <laughs> since I ha feel like I have them quite often, I take it upon myself and they've also asked me in the office just to make sure that the wheels on here stay greased. So every time I have a roll tight like this, I open it up, I grease all the wheels so that when the highway driver hooks onto it, he doesn't have to sit there fighting with it when he gets to his first delivery. It should open just like butter. And now that I'm using bull snot instead of that other lubricant, it should last longer. But the jury is still out on that one. We're going to find out, see how long this lasts. If it lasts longer than one trip, it's already done twice as good. <laughs> is that other stuff every time i'd grease the trailers it'd come back and it need to be greased again almost immediately it's like as soon as it goes through a rainstorm it just washes it right out and uh, i know the owner of bull snot uh mr brown and he says that his products will not do that and i trust him he was right about the visible the glass cleaner he was right about the uh polishable and all of all of his other products the tire butter remember he said that dust won't stick to it he was right so I trust him when he says that uh, his products will last longer. I'm just gonna prove it to you now and prove it to myself. And then we're gonna hold him to his word. I'll let you know. For now, uh, there's not much more for me to do this afternoon other than get everything ready for Monday so that I don't have to spend all morning getting ready to go down to Thief River. I can just get here and go. Cause it's gonna be a busy day. It's, it is a long day when you do two round trips, but I enjoy those days, right? I enjoy driving, I enjoy the highway, and I also enjoy going home at the end of the day. It's sort of like a, it's a perfect full day. Makes me a happy trucker. All right, let's jump down here. Lock that up, put the pin through there, so she stays locked up just like I told her to. Otherwise, it doesn't listen. 
bed here for the weekend I still haven't seen a driver for the other truck where is the other truck that's 3010 2025 not sure if we're still looking for a city driver for that or not I know we're looking for owner operators and new drivers all the time I know we're always looking for new drivers I mean if you're looking for a, a good place to work if you're uh, had the legal ability to work in Canada uh, you got a work visa at the at the very least or your residency. Why am I taking this off? Then I just gotta carry it inside at home. No, I gotta I'm just gonna keep wearing it. I want to take my sweater off because it's hot. That's what I was thinking. Forgot what I was doing halfway through doing it. I forget stuff. But I didn't forget what I was talking about. Uh we're always looking for drivers. I think we have a city truck. Uh we're looking for city drivers. I'll have to call in and check though. Uh, I don't know the exact needs that we have, but we're always looking for owner operators. Uh, you guys have seen the routes I've done over the last nine years and stuff. We go all over Canada and the US. And uh, we're always looking, always looking for drivers, company drivers too. We got van division, deck division. You're Canadian or even live in the neighboring province on the prairies, Western Canada, Eastern Canada, Ontario. We hire drivers out of Ontario all the time. We have a, a terminal in uh, Waterloo, Ontario. I believe that's where it is. Uh, down in Southern Ontario there too. We're hiring drivers out there too. I don't know what our needs are exactly right now, but if you call in and talk to Max, uh, he's the recruiter. He'll tell you exactly what we need. It's a good place to work. And uh, you know, they don't ask me to say nice things about the place. They, they don't ask that at all. I choose to. I've been here for 10 years next month. October 26th, it'll be 10 years. I had a small little gap for a couple of months at the beginning of this year, end of last year, but three months where I sort of, uh, I don't know, lost myself. <laughs> I, uh, we had some miscommunication. I didn't know that this position was available here and I was looking for something local to be home every day. A little bit of miscommunication uh, and I ended up trying to go and find local work elsewhere. And then when we, when they realized the error and that, hey, we actually have a local position here, they called me back and said, hey, can you please come back? We need you. I'm like, Absolutely. This place is like a family to me. It, it's not a workplace that I come to every day. It's everybody here is is my family and uh, I care a lot about all of them and I really believe in the place. I believe it's a good place. I believe we're moving in a positive direction. And I believe they do good work. I believe all of us here that, that we, we do good work. So uh, you're not a unit number here. That's a big thing too. I've been here a while, so everybody knows me already. But when you start here, uh, right off the bat, you'll notice that people will take the effort to, to learn your name, to know who you are, uh, and maybe even get to know uh, you know, your family. They take a great interest, and uh, they're a very family-oriented place. I've told you this before. Uh, like Britt and I, we're trying to have a kid right now. And uh, you know, they all know about it too, and they're all on our side rooting for us. We're hoping to... Uh, uh, have a positive result soon uh, for Brit getting pregnant with our first child. We have IVF coming up in the next couple of months. It's going to be pretty expensive. <laughs> but uh, I know that at least here with my work family, everybody's rooting for us. Everyone's on our side. That's one thing that really makes it awesome. It doesn't feel like I'm coming to work in the morning, right? I show up for work and everybody's here. We're all in a good mood. We all have our days. Sometimes we don't see eye to eye, but you know what? In the end, we uh, we all know we're on the same team. And uh, their method of family oriented workplace seems to be very successful. I mean, not everybody's gonna have the same glorious, awesome experience, but uh, I think for the most part, everyone will. I, I don't know. I like it here. If you guys wanna, if you if you wanna work here too, 
uh, we're always looking for new drivers. We're always looking. There's been a driver shortage for for decades, for longer than I've been alive. Now the news is finally catching up with it. Oh, there's a driver shortage. There's news all over the world. They're blaming it on like the pandemic and stuff. No, no, this is nothing new. There's been a driver shortage for longer than I've been alive. I've always called your commercial driver's license employment insurance. Okay, as long as you keep your driver's abstract clean, you keep your criminal record clean, all this stuff, you stay a good citizen, and you have your CDL, your class one license, as long as you have that, you got employment insurance, you'll always have a job because there's always somebody looking for a job. The thing is, you wanna find the best drivers with the best work ethic and the best attitude. So if you have a positive attitude, if you have a good work ethic, Maybe this is the place for you. I don't know. Maybe this is the place for you. We're always growing. It's time to go home though. I think my rock star welcome is in, is waiting for me. Do I have everything? I probably forgot something. Wallet, phone, keys, truck, head. Uh, all my stuff in there. Back there, lunch kit. Electronics, backpack. I think we have everything. I think so. <laughs>